In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down one of the best zone beaters in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been to my YouTube channel before, what I want to do right now is let you know that I upload four videos a day at YouTube that are designed to help you with some type of tactical, tangible tip, strategy, or concept that you can apply to your game in Madden NFL 21. And so uh, if you're interested in getting better at the game, what I want to encourage you to do right now is to go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also turn on that little bell notification icon that's going to turn on notifications for whenever I got my live streams, which are every night at 10 o'clock Eastern tonight. So I want to invite you as well to our to tonight's live stream at 10 o'clock. All right, guys, we're talking about Zone Beater. This is a gun cluster out of the Arizona Cardinals playbook. It's one of my favorite plays in Madden NFL 21, the Mesh Post. And here's why. Basically, this route to uh, Valdez Scantling, it got revamped a little bit this year. And what you're going to see is if I motion him out, let him start to kind of set, you're going to see that he is going to be able to be user caught against the uh and of course uh, against cover three so if i if i just run a cover three what you're going to see is Valdez scantling is going to get out there and he's going to be able to get a quick pop pass out there for a quick five quick six quick seven quick eight quick ten yards against any cover three and also any cover four so again you want to get him out there get him wide out there let him kind of set up and you'll see you can pop this ball out there and if i rack catch that up you can see how dominant this play is against those against those zone coverages that's what i love about this against zone literally any cover four any cover three you're going to be able to get it consistently if you just w let him kind of settle up a little bit get it out there and go and you're going to be off to the race it's a really really good quick pass in this game now what if they run man to man well let me show you so if they're running man to man let me see i'm gonna did i come out man to man yes i did uh let's show you man to man here real quick so what you'll see against man-to-man -man is this is this is a mesh concept, right? Uh, what's also really unique, I think, about the gun cluster is if if they man align and press the corner, this is just what I've noticed with this formation. If they man align and press, the corner on the right side does not always go with him. You'll see here he doesn't go with him. You can still get him out there. And it's just a quick lob ball, and you're just going to possession catch it right on the outside there. That's a dot against man-to-man -man coverage, absolute dot. And then what you're also see within this formation, this is literally if they don't, if they don't, um, or even if they man align, you're going to get this. This little quick pass to the back is pretty solid. This is dollar three two six, and you're seeing a little quick pass to the back is going to destroy man to man. You also have the two underneath routes, um, and as well as the deep post. So you got that nice motion out. Uh, route there, but then you also have this deep post right here to Lazard that's going to beat every single coverage in Madden 21. This gun cluster mesh post play a lot better than people under than people really realize. I think uh, in Madden 21, what you're going to see here, this is base aligned man-to-man uh, -man coverage. Watch this guy; he gets hit sideline, and then he's going to get a little little speed boost on the outside. And sometimes you can even get that ball in there, but he did have leverage, so we weren't able to get it in. All right, let's talk about cover two. So cover two is what everyone's going to run to try to stop you. Now, what I recommend doing against cover two is, is you can go to this verticals play right here, and you can actually user catch, uh, user catch a lot of these routes. What's also really unique, in my opinion, about the gun cluster specifically is if I go to verticals, right, this you'll see that it has a very similar route. So if I come back over to mesh post, this is cover two, uh, press, and watch about as Scantley's route. Once it gets to the sideline, it's going to bounce up. You can pass that to the right, click on, and you see how I can swerve catch him against the Tampa 2 defense. Now, as a general rule when you're running this play, I do want to recommend that you go ahead and run this play to the wide side of the field. So run your cluster. The three wide receiver side needs to be on the right side uh, or you're going toward the right hash mark. Uh, but what you'll see is once he gets to that sideline, he's going to get over that cloud very easily, and you're going to be able to absolutely destroy cover two. So what you're seeing is this route – to um, Valdez Scantling is a is a multiple window route. It's actually one of the better routes in the game for beating zone zone uh, or for reading zone coverage. It's actually why I think the cluster really is a powerful formation that I haven't heard a lot of people talking about this year. Uh, I've heard a lot of people talk about um, trips tied in and split close and all those other ones, but this gun cluster I think is kind of forgotten upon. Now it's also really nice. What's really nice and unique is these mesh routes over the middle of the field. Let me show you this. So this is against a cover two, uh, and we're literally just running cover two straight. And watch these little mesh routes underneath. They're basically going to settle up and find grass. You can low ball. If Aaron Rodgers can make an accurate pass, um, you can easily low ball these, these routes here. So literally, I'm just going to go. 
He's going to settle up noose, and then I'm just going to lowball it for a quick five, a quick five, a quick three, a quick two. That is what I love about this play. This play beats every single zone in the entire game. Uh, we'll show you this here. Uh, this is man-to-man -man coverage. You see that they keep running against man-to-man -man coverage, which makes it even more effective. Um, if they're going to, if they're going to basically settle up a noose against zone, and they're going to keep running against man-to-man. -man. What's also really nice is you'll see this route to Lazard. You motion that out right there. Watch this post route. Once he gets all the way over here to the left, you can click on and you can catch that with Lazard. You can also lowball this ball. Um, this is also another one of those multi-window route type of routes. So it's going to be open at multiple different points uh, on the route when it breaks here. You'll see here breaks to the left, click on, and you see I can easily swerve catch that in the, in the middle of the zone. A lot you can do with the cluster this year, but I did want to break down this play because I have not really heard a whole lot of people talking about this play. Um, and this this route right here to Valdez Scantling is a lot better than people give it credit for. You know, people are under, under and I understand, you know, people are facing a lot of man to man this year, but you're going to find, check this out. So if I run cover two man, and I'm just going to do everybody's setup with the purple zones, and try to take that route to Valdez Scantling away. Watch what happens on the gets to the outside. You're going to see. He's going to get out here, and he's going to completely bounce upside, and he's going to get kind of a speed burst. He's not always going to get over top. He's 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 not. But if they man a line, and this is where I come back to say, what I like about the gun cluster is what it does against man a line defenses. That was a base line defense. Now let me show you a man a line defense. So if they're man a line, this looks like they're going to be able to track with him. You're going to get him out there, and look, now he's on a streak, and you can just lob this up. And he's going to use all of that speed to get over the top of the defense for an absolute dot. That's shaded coverage over top. Shaded coverage outside. This route is consistently going to kill it. So one of the best wheel routes in the game, in my opinion. One of the best plays in the game. You get a lot of really good stuff happening from this uh, specific play. And it just does really, really, really well against a lot of the zone coverages. I love the fact that you can quick pass. Uh, what you'll see sometimes is you'll see some people come out and cover six. Uh, I wanted to show you cover six really, really quickly here. And what you see is I can pass lead that route or that deep post route. I can typically pass lead that route up. Also, uh, if they run that cover six, let me show you. you ha you'll have the mesh routes underneath. They're going to be basically turned into drags because of the match coverage. But you also still have this this read right here. I mean, this 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 is an absolute dot this year. Not a lot of people are talking about that route. That's why I want to do the video. This is probably one of the best routes in Madden right now because of the fact that it doesn't really get followed uh, in man line. It doesn't really get followed against a lot of things that people are going to do. And you're going to be able to consistently work the ball up and down the field. Um, right there, that's one thing that you might struggle with when running this play. If you think it's man-to-man, -man, one of the things I do want to encourage you to do is just drag your, your, your guys because they're going to run against man and against zone. They're going to settle up. Understand that about your routes, and also understand that when they get to the when they when they reach the point um, where they're going to consistently go man to man, which is about uh, which is about uh, you. You basically want to look at the route here, and let me show you. You'll see right there at the numbers on for Mercedes Lewis there when he gets to the 20 yard line that's when he's going to officially make his decision if he's going to come down or not uh, for Devonte Adams I think it's at that middle of the field there it does change based on that so just be sure to check your play art every time when running this play to be able to be aware of when they're going to make their man zone decision but guys this is one of the best plays in the game I wanted to do a quick video on it for you today we're going to be updating our guides with the cluster so if you haven't picked up one of my Madden 21 competitive bundle guides you can pick that up in the description below we're going to give you a full scheme from the entire Arizona Cardinals playbook that's going to incorporate gun spread, gun trips, as well as gun cluster, some of the split slot stuff we've been talking about. Really, really feeling really, really good about the creativity that you can have from the Arizona Cardinals playbook. You're going to be able to play the play, play the game in a new way. And hey, we tack on with the competitive bundle guide, our offense and our defense. So if you haven't picked that up yet, be sure to do that in the description below of this video. Also, guys, make sure to come to our live stream tonight. We're going to be streaming at 10 o'clock. And last but not least, if you haven't joined the Discord yet, you can do that by clicking the link in the description of this video. We're going to be live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock from our YouTube channel. We'll see you there.